What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, good morning and welcome to this uh, update on Luna Classic. Wanted to make a full technical update on it. Um, we'll start off with talking a little bit about the fundamentals because it, it looks like Luna Classic is dying. Uh, right, we've been falling a lot even though the market at some points actually found some support. Luna Classic after the initial crash uh, last Friday just continued dropping down. Uh, so that's bearish and I understand that you're worried about that so that's why I wanted to start with some fundamentals uh, and uh, and uh, and tell you what to look out for right what what to what to look out for in the future what could be bullish but apart from that we'll also take a look at the technicals uh, the technicals are are a little bit less uh, less sunny of course as you can see um, but we'll talk about all of that um, so yeah, before we uh, get into that, uh, make sure to, uh, if you want to receive daily trading signals, check out the description or the pinned comments. There you'll find instructions on how to join. Um, but now let's, uh, as I said, I mean, fundamentally Luna Classic right now is not doing amazing. Um, there are no big proposals going on right now. The only big thing I think around Luna Classic right now um, it's continued development. They just have to continue development on the blockchain. That could be bullish. That could pay off in, in the long run. Um, but apart from that, the uh, the USTC Luna Classic repack, um, which we haven't heard about. I think the proposal, the signal proposal passed in the middle of February, if I, believe, if, if I, uh, if I remember correctly. We haven't heard anything from that. We still know. Oh yeah, it passed right here. Uh, oh, beginning of February even. Um, that's probably going to cause bullish momentum, all right? Even though you, if, if you like the proposal, if you like the idea or not, um, we've seen time and time again that that will provide uh, the, the market, or at least Luna Classic, with bullish momentum. So it's waiting for that. Now, the thing is, is that things like that, I mean, Terra Classic is not the biggest project anymore. They cannot have that many people um, that are also busy with other things working on it. And it's just a signal proposal, right? So they're just going to um, they're just going to check if they can actually make it work. The answer could also be no, and if that's the case, we'll drop, all right? Um, so fundamentally, the only the only two things that could really provide any hope for Luna Classic is, I think, if there's really uh, if, if there's really going to be a plan on a Luna Classic USDC repack, or if the market gets very bullish. Well, the market right now is very far from bullish, and I expect it to fall down even more. Um, so I actually expect Luna Classic technically to move along with the market until we get news. All right, and news I cannot really predict. I would say that in the next three months, at the very least, we would get some sort of a proposal about the repack, um, but that cannot be guaranteed. As I said, it's, uh, it's, it's not the biggest project anymore. So right now, purely technically, you can see that we were a little bit bullish this uh, morning. We spiked up towards uh, that 14,000 resistance level. And I actually do think, I mean, for example, right now, Bitcoin is at quite a strong support. I do think we can get some bullish momentum in the market, perhaps after falling down a little bit more, but all right. Um, so Luna Classic as well, I mean, we're at a strong support. We're at around that uh, 13,000 level. Uh, if you take a look at that historically, you can see that it's pretty strong. Um, I would say it's not as strong as 14,000, but all right, it's, um, it's at least something. Uh, also right here, in uh, back in August, when we had our bull run uh, because of the burn tax, we, it was pretty strong. Uh, so it's definitely not nothing. But to be honest, I think we can just spike up a little bit towards like, if we don't get any news, towards like at the, at, at the very maximum 14,500. Uh, but ultimately, I think we'll consolidate on top of this level. And if the, no news comes, we'll just follow the market and at some point drop down towards 12,000. And that whole support level... Uh, between ultimately 11,250 and 12,000. That's always, by the way, what I name the prices as, right? With 12,000, I practically mean 0 0.012 cents. Um, but as you might imagine, that's no way to uh, to accurately say it all the time. So yes, I think we can hold this, uh, just in summary, I think we can hold this consolidation, but if there's no news at some point, probably in the next uh, two weeks at the very maximum, we will drop down to our next support level. Overall, Luna Classic is fairly fairly good at consolidating, uh, but we haven't seen that for a while either. So we'll have to see. Uh, but that's my take on Luna Classic for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.